Tao has stepped up their game in style and design. What's up guys, it's Eric with Monday Fairman. How you guys doing today? Excited to bring you a brand new product that was just released. It's actually two products along the Pro Series of new tiles. And these are called the Tile Sport and the Tile Style. Full disclosure, Tiles PR company has provided this product to me for free, but this will be an honest review. You do sell these individually or as a two pack, or as you can see here, a multi-pack of one of each. I will be putting affiliate links down below to Amazon where you can purchase these products and also a affiliate link down directly to Tile website where you can learn more about these or purchase it directly from them. All right, let's quickly do an unboxing, see what we get into, see what the differences are between the old Tile Slim and Tile Mate and the new Pro Series. You can see they do advertise the Pro Series as twice the range. I won't be testing that in this video. I will be doing a distance test in a different video. If that video is available, I will be putting a link right up here so you guys can check that out when it's available. They also say it's waterproof and we're getting into more detail about that in a couple minutes and it's two times louder which, which we will be testing that sound level with my little sound meter. You can ring it, you can find it, you can find your phone, you can have your own search party. If you guys are new to Bluetooth trackers, I have wrote a little blog about what they are. Definitely check out my blog, there'll be a link right here so you can learn about what Bluetooth trackers are and what they are not. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. That's the Tile Sport, and over here is the Tile Style. I'm actually quite surprised how light these are. I thought they were going to be like the Pebble Bee and be extremely heavy, but they definitely are not. Just for some comparison, let's go ahead and break out the Tile Mate and the Tile Slim. Let's start off with the smallest one, the Tile Mate, which is 34 by 34 millimeters in each direction and it's 4.65 millimeters thick and only weighs 6.1 grams. And Tile Slim on the other hand is 54 by 54 millimeters in each direction and it's 2.4 millimeters thick and it's a little bit heavier at 9.3 grams which is definitely a perfect size to fit into your wallet. And as you can see these both only come in white whereas the new Pro Series does come in some new colors like this new tile style, which is mostly white, but it is outlined in this gold trim, which is definitely very attractive. And it is a little bit bigger than Tile Mate at 37.5 millimeters in each direction, and it's 5.9 millimeters thick. This does feel all plastic. I'm not quite sure if this is aluminum or metal at all. Um, I will be putting a link to my website where you can see some updated comments and some pros and cons lists. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and click right up here. And then right here on the top, you do have the reverse find button. So if you do happen to lose your phone, you just press the little button on your tile and it'll help ring your phone. And on the back, there is two little sound holes. But even though there is sound holes, it's still waterproof with the IP68 rating which is definitely a huge improvement over the last Tile Slim and Tile Mate ratings of an IP57. And then moving on to the Tile Sport, it comes in this dark slate color with graphite outline, and it's definitely very handsome, and it's definitely one of my favorite designs. It is bigger than Tile Style, though, at 40 millimeters in each direction, but it is the same thickness at 5.9 millimeters. As far as weight goes, the Tile Style comes in at 11 grams, whereas the Tile Sport comes in at the heaviest a Tile has ever been at 15 grams. And then of course on top you have the Tile Reverse Find button, and on back you do have the two little sound holes very similar to the Tile Style. One of the things that is not included in the box is some sort of keyring. So if you do want to attach this to something, you will have to provide your own keyring or other attachment. And you might be asking me, what's the difference between the old tiles and these new tile pro series? Of course, there is the obvious difference in size. If you're going to be using this in a wallet, you definitely want the tile slim. And then of course you have difference in colors. Tile mate and tile slim only come in white, but you are able to buy tile skins for both of these and pretty much get any color or design that you want. Because the tile pro series is definitely feel more rugged 
and definitely more durable. And more likely you're not going to be able to put a skin on either one of these because of the way they are designed. So you're going to have to be happy with the design that you pick. As with all tile products, they come with a one year non-replaceable battery. So when your unit does die, you do need to repurchase a new tile. But they do have a retile program which you can buy the new one at a significant discount. Now I know there's a lot of people that are upset about the non-replaceable battery. But there are other brands out there on the market that do have replaceable batteries. A lot of them I have reviewed on this channel. If you want to check out some of those reviews, click this card right up here. Now let's go ahead and discuss some advantages of the Pro Series, but to do that we will have to go into the app and check it out. You first log into the account, of course you're going to have to make a username and password, and then you're going to have to add your tile. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see here I've hidden a lot of my tiles that I've already connected, but we're going to go ahead and add these new tiles. To do that we hit the little plus button, and then we hit tile. And then it's asking me which one do you have. Let's go ahead and add the spork first. And it tells you you have to press a button on top and place it next to your phone. And just like that it is activated. Now it's asking you what you're going to be using this on. We're going to say this is the keys. And let's go ahead and hit the find button. And that is definitely quite loud. In a previous video I tested the sound level of all the trackers that I have. If you guys want to see that video definitely click right up here. Tile Mate and Tile Slim both came in around 90 decibels. So let's see what the Tile Sport can do. As with all my sound tests, I put the sound holes facing up. So the max level is at 99 decibels. Very impressive and I do believe that is the second loudest Bluetooth tracker that I've tested thus far. Let's go ahead and connect the tile style to the app and test out its sound level. Alright let's go ahead and hit the little plus button, hit tile and this is the tile style. And it says click the logo and it's activated just like that. And we're going to say this is our purse. Alright, let's go ahead and test out the sound level of this one. Once again, the sound holes are up. And the max level right there is 98.8. So just as impressive as the Tile Sport. These new Pro Series definitely were louder than their previous models, but they were definitely not twice as loud as advertised. Let's go ahead and go deeper into the app and see what additional features they have improved. One thing I noticed is when you do hit the find button, you have three different icons right here. You have default, which is loud, and then you have a low setting, and then you also have a mute setting, which I'm not quite sure why there's a mute setting, because you can just hit done and turn off the sound anyway. But one thing that I noticed is when you do mark that setting, it actually does not stick. Next time you hit the find button, it will default to the loudest setting. Alright, let's go into the options and you can see here you can view it on, on the map. I will be blocking this out for my privacy, but you can see where your tracker is or its last known location. Please understand these are Bluetooth trackers, not GPS trackers, and they do have a limited range. I will be doing a distance test in the near future as I mentioned earlier. Once that video is available there will be a link right up here so definitely check that out. They do advertise the Pro Series to be able to go up 200 feet. In my previous test the Tile Mate and Tile Slim which they advertised to go up to 100 feet easily beat that and a lot of times will go up 200 or 300 feet. Next feature down is the share option and just like the previous models you're able to share this out with only one additional person but please understand that only one person can connect at a time. Next option down is the details and of course you can change the name of the device if you want to. We're going to name this the purse one and just like the previous models you can change the ringtone. And you can see in here they have actually eight different ringtones and then you have the option of changing the photo so if you do have multiple tiles you can easily identify them and you can change the category if you choose to 
and then you see some device details. Then you have the option of replacing tile if it becomes dead or you can hide them. But there is no option to delete this or to transfer it to someone else. If you do want to delete it or transfer it, you will have to contact custom support and get approval. And then your very last option is your help option. If you do have issues, you can find answers to your questions or contact customer support. Another feature they advertise in their pro series is the proximity meter, which they kind of had in their previous models, but let's go ahead and see if there's any improvement. As you can see, it is saying the tile is nearby. So let's go ahead and take the tile away and see what happens. So it's still saying it's nearby. Let's go ahead and ring it. I threw it down the hall. Oh, maybe it only does the proximity meter when it's ringing. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go get it and see if it does anything differently. So I did notice that you do get extra couple of rings around there telling you that you are getting closer. And just like with previous models, if your tile is out of range, you can ask the community to help you find it. If someone comes within range of your tile, it will anonymously send you a notification and email letting you know the location of where it connected, which you can see these notifications by clicking the notification tab at the bottom of your app. Also at the bottom of the app, you can see a little map option where you can see the location of all your connected devices. One thing I always like to test in my reviews is the ability of the reverse ring. So you should be able to press the button on the device and it should be able to find your phone. Just like that. Previously, you had to have the Tile app running in the background on your iOS devices. Androids were a little different. But if you didn't have the app running, there was no way of finding your phone. But recently, Tao has finally come up with a way to do it. So let's go ahead and shut down the app completely and give it a try. All right, let's go ahead and shut down the app completely, just like that. And it does give you that little warning that Tao is disabled and not running. But you can see just like this, I'm gonna click on it and it rings just like that. Another great feature which I just heard about which is not advertised on the website is the ability to find your device or your tile with Alexa. Now there has been plenty of apps out there on the market that are able to find your phone with Alexa but there's only been one other uh, Bluetooth tracker that you're able to find your device. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this and test it out. First thing you want to do is go into your Alexa app and install the tile skill. And enable it. It's asking for skill permissions and it just wants to know your device address. We're going to say OK. Now we need to log into your tile account. So go ahead and put in your email address and your password. And there you go, your tile skill was successfully linked. All right, I'm not quite sure what to do next, but let's go ahead and ask Alexa. Alexa, what can I do with tile? The tile skill can help you find your keys, phone, or anything else you've tiled. Try saying things like find my phone or where are my keys. Alexa, find my purse. I'm your purse. Wow, just like that. And I didn't even say ask Tile to uh, bring my purse. I just said find my purse. Alexa, find my keys. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Alexa, ask Tile to find my keys. I'm ringing your keys. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alexa, ask Tile to find my Tile Slim. I'm ringing your tile slip. Alexa, ask Tile to find my wallet. I'm ringing your tile slip. That is awesome. Now I'm wondering if this actually works with the app shut down on iOS. 
So let's go ahead and shut down the app and see if it still works. All right, it is fully shut down. You get a little warning. Alexa, ask Tyler find my purse. I'm ringing your purse. That is awesome. Still works with the app shut down. That is the best thing ever. And you don't need the new Pro Series to do it. You can use it with your old Tile Slim and your Tile Mate also. All right, so all in all, I do like the Pro Series a lot. Now, is it worth the extra money? Is it worth upgrading? Probably not, unless you really need the additional sound level, which it's really not double the sound level. Um, additional sounds were nothing really to write home about. If the distance test is unbelievable, then yes. But if it's just still about the, the 200 feet to 300 feet, probably not worth it unless you want the design or the color. Um, you can easily get skins on the old models and make them look like this very easily. Of course, the sound level is louder, but it's definitely not twice as loud. If you are hard of hearing and you need those extra nine decibels, I understand. It's waterproofing, the extra waterproofing is definitely nice also, but is it something you really need? More than likely not. So unless you like the design and want the style and durability of the new Pro Series, I would say stick with the original Tile Mate and Tile Slim. Volume control is really not needed. Most people are going to keep it on the loudest level possible. The improved proximity meter you can get on either model, so it doesn't really matter. The new ringtones on the Pro Series are nice, but you do have plenty of choices on the old Tile Mate and Tile Slim also. All right guys, let's wrap up this video. If you haven't already seen the unboxing of Tile Mate, click up there. Tile Slim will be down there. I hope I've earned your subscription. If I have, click that blue button and subscribe to my channel. If you want to become a super subscriber and get videos not seen on this YouTube channel, check out my Patreon page, this blue square right there, and become a patron. I appreciate all the love and support. I will see you on the next video.